It's a common sight day and night. Jews from around the world visiting the grave of Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, the influential leader of the Chabad Lubavitch movement who died 25 years ago this Saturday. So what was Klesiani Furtado, a Catholic limo driver, doing here the other day? I thought that it was like a private thing, but uh, now anyone can come and pray and make the wishes and pray and when you leave, you feel peace in your heart. Turns out Schneerson's final resting place also draws many non-Jews to pray or meditate. Furtado says she first entered the old Montefiore Cemetery in Cambria Heights a few years ago after having driven people there. She was driven by her own faith to learn more. Now she has become a kind of ambassador for the site, telling travelers she picks up at Kennedy Airport they should visit. If you can come to a place that I can bring you to God, why not? Schneerson biographer Rabbi Joseph Telushkin says he is not surprised by the attraction. I think people are in awe of greatness and they like to touch it and they like to be inspired. Schneerson, known as the Rebbe, helped to transform the Chabad Lubavitch movement after the Holocaust into the force it is today with an international network of over 3,000 educational outreach and social service centers. When he was alive, the faithful sought his guidance. Thousands would line up to receive his blessing. Chabad representatives say they welcome anyone the Rebbe's message reaches, regardless of their faith. The Rebbe's teachings and ideas continue to inspire millions of people. Jews and non-Jews and, um, and the impacts felt across society and and people respond to that. Every human being has a purpose. That's part of the draw for Matthew Charles. He was sentenced to 35 years in prison for selling cocaine. He credits advocates, some of them influenced by Schneerson, for pushing the criminal justice reform that led to his early release. Come out and be thankful and say thank you. Clive Williams comes here twice a month. He says after questioning his own faith, he began making the pilgrimage to find guidance. I found the experience to be exhilarating. I found the spiritual uh, benefits to be really powerful. Now he says it's a go-to spot whenever he has a problem. He's brought his grandson and other relatives to share the experience. The more I came here, the more I felt, you know, relieved and, you know, Open. A feeling shared by many visitors to the Rebbe's grave, Jews and non-Jews, now 25 years after his death. Shannon Ferry, New York One.